first thing to do before creating your custom tab on Facebook is actually create that page on your own website so you can pull through an iframe in the tab. So as you can see here, I created a page that's called topstories.html on newsroom.cisco.com. It's just a simple top story module. You'll notice that it looks a little thin. It's 520 pixels wide because that's the allotted space in a Facebook tab. So once you've created your page, you're going to go over to facebook.com slash developers and start the um, application process. The developer site just looks basically like a developer form, looks a lot just like this. Um, but you'll notice in the top right section there's a set up a new app. Now you have to create an app to add to your page to act as a tab. So uh, app and tab are kind of used synonymously here. So I'm just going to make a top stories one, name it top stories, agree to the terms, which of course we've all read extensively as always. And of course there's a little security measure and feature, so we'll just type this in real quick. Go ahead and click submit, and then we'll have to fill out some more forms. Um, the three things we're going to touch, the about section, website, and Facebook integration. And uh, then we'll be done. So this is pretty quick. So in this about section, you'll see there's just normal um, sections here. Uh, application name, description. We can also upload an icon, which I'll do right now. I'll just have a little Cisco logo to accompany my tab. This will show up on the page, and I'll show you later where that's going to show up. Um, contact email will be filled out. You can also add a privacy policy or terms of service URL if necessary. Also, if you want to work on the uh, tab with other people, you can go ahead and set um, set other users to manage this app as well. Administrators, developer, etc. Then we'll go up to website. This one is pretty straightforward. This is just going to be the site URL. So, where is your page living? Ours is just on newsroom.cisco.com. So I'll just type that in real quick. Pretty straightforward. And then we'll uh, head over to Facebook integration just to put the final touches on this, um, this process here. First thing is under Canvas. We've got the Canvas page. This will be the page that actually lives on Facebook, and we have the choice just to make a vanity URL. Uh, this is Top Stories, so I'll just name this one Cisco Top Stories. And then for Canvas URL, we're just going to enter the directory that our page is in. So before ours was in Facebook, I made a Facebook directory, I knew it at Cisco. So just add that in right there. Make sure it's an iframe. Um, I'll just choose to auto resize. I don't want any scrolling. Uh, let's scroll down further. Under page tabs, we're going to actually name this tab so this will show up on the page. And I just want that to be named Top Stories. So that's pretty straightforward. Make sure iframe is checked. And then for the tab URL, this is just going to be the actual URL of my Top Stories page. So Top Stories at HTML in that Facebook directory. And that's about it. We can save changes. This will take us to the application page where we can get an overview of the app we just created. We can also check out our other apps over here. As we can see, I've made a partner summit uh, and a welcome app. And um, you can go in there and set up a new one from this page as well. You can also click edit settings and go fix any of those settings that we just set up. And this is also the where you can go to your application profile page in order to add the tab to your fan page. So to do that, just go to the bottom left hand corner, click the add to my page link. A list of your pages that you own pop up. Uh, I want to add this to the Cisco page, so just click Add to Page. And then we're going to go right over to that Cisco page and check out to make sure it's there. So let's see, facebook.com slash Cisco. And then we'll check out where the tabs are on the bottom left <laughs> and see if it has been added. Click more, it'll be at the bottom if you have a lot of tabs like this. And there it is, top stories. You can see the icons right there that we added, that we uploaded earlier. And there it is, the top stories page was pulled into the top stories tab. And as you can see, it's just as functional as it was on the page. Since this tab is awesome, we also will just, eh, we'll move this to the top, why not? And boom goes the dynamite. Thanks for watching.